Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's stop that clip right now. So let's stop President Barack Obama from getting any older for a second. Because scientists have just discovered a breakthrough that will possibly stop Obama from aging anymore. Do you guys remember what he looked like when he first took office? Well, here's him right here. Uh, this is when he first took office about eight years ago, and this is him today. He takes on a lot of stress, so I get it, but he's aged so much. But imagine the possibility of stopping your body from aging and allowing yourself to live forever. Would you guys want to live forever? Or or how old do you guys want to be? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, scientists have just discovered a breakthrough procedure to replace specific parts of aging cells. As we age, our mitochondria DNA mutates, eventually killing off cells. Scientists over at Caltech and UCLA have developed a way to overexpress certain genes, triggering mitochondria to clear out mutated genes. As time goes on, humans become smarter and smarter because we always have to adapt to new things. And we constantly want to discover new things so we can help ourselves live longer or healthier or even happier. Moving on, right now there is a five second video going around that will crash your iPhone. So if you see it, don't open it. And I'm not sure why people will send these to like their friends or their family members because like who, you wouldn't have like a stranger's phone number on your phone, would you? So of course you're sending it to people you know. But if you open up this video, it's a five second video, it will crash your phone or it will make it very, very slow. If you did happen to open this video, all you have to do is hard reset your phone. So grab your phone, hold the home button and then the lock button, hold it until it turns off. When you turn it back on, your phone will restart and your phone should have gotten rid of the bug and then you'll be good to go again. Since we're talking about the iPhone, I'm now questioning the security of it surrounding the Touch ID feature that's supposed to be very secure. It's supposed to only open to like your thumbprints. Well, apparently seen in a video, there was this hedgehog who can unlock a phone with its paw print. Security experts warn fingerprint scanning may not be as safe as you think. So just make sure you're not putting anything you don't want people to find on your phone. Just clear it off, don't have it. And definitely don't put things up in the cloud. A few days ago, President Barack Obama presented a few people with the Medal of Honor. One of those people was Michael Jordan, and Obama made a ton of jokes about Michael Jordan, who is known to be one of the most successful businessmen and one of the greatest players to have ever played the game of basketball. Okay, listen to a quick clip of what Obama was saying about Michael Jordan. He's more than just a logo, more than just an internet meme. So this will be the last time President Obama will present the Medal of Freedom ceremony. Donald Trump will be taking over that. There was 21 people in total that was honored. Some of those names were Bruce Springsteen, Tom Hanks, Robert De Niro, and Ellen DeGeneres. Those are some elite set of people. There's a few updates with Kanye West and him going to the hospital, which means he was being held at the hospital against his will. And that's because he was claimed to be mentally unfit to leave. But according to some new sources, I know the Huffington Post just reported on this, those previous statements were not true. Kanye West wanted to be there and to get help. But TMZ reported that Kanye West canceled his tour six hours before going to the hospital. He was actually handcuffed to a stretcher and he was hauled off to UCLA Medical Center for a psychiatric evaluation. So he was held against his will. So I'm not sure what those new articles are about. Kanye West was hospitalized in Los Angeles just days ago due to a lot of stress. He canceled all of his remaining tour dates. When Kim Kardashian heard about this news, she rushed to the hospital to be right there by his side. By not performing at his remaining concert, which I think was like five or six more, he lost around 30 million dollars and he has to pay out millions of dollars for those venues that he booked. But apparently Kanye West was smart and he had an insurance policy that covered him in the event of an illness that prevented him from performing. So the insurance company might be responsible for everything now. But the insurance company is going to investigate this because you know insurance companies, they don't actually want to give you the money. They were going to investigate what's going on with Kanye West because they can deny him coverage if Kanye West had a pre-existing condition that he did disclose at the time of the policy was issued. Have you guys heard of the new crazy challenge called Donald Trump is coming? Well, it's taking the internet by storm. This is a new trend. It's when you yell out, Donald Trump is coming, and then everyone just runs away. Moving on, this right here is Libby Huffer. She is a mother that has almost 6,000 tumors all over her body, and she says that she's always in excruciating pain. She suffers from neurofibromatosis. She's had 10 operations so far, and she's now trying to crowdfund to have another one. Libby has had this condition since she was five years old and now she's 44 years old and she says it's been really hard for her to try to find love. I really hope she's able to go through another treatment or operation so she can start to live a much better life. I mean, all the best to her. Right now there are rumors going around around the iPhone 8 that's gonna be coming out next year. People suggest that the Apple might ditch the metal casing and they're gonna replace that with a glass casing for its 10th anniversary of the iPhone. Experts say the transition from metal to glass casing is key if Apple wants to introduce a wireless charging feature in its next iPhone. I mean, that sounds great as long as the glass, I mean, it doesn't 
of shatter when you drop it. I guess we're gonna have to wait to find out. This next story is about a gunman in Brazil who pulled out his gun in an attempt to rob an office. He shot six times at this worker who was only one foot away from him. This was point blank range, but luckily, I have no idea how this happened, but the masked gunman missed all six times. And it's so lucky for this person, he, the guy missed every single shot and other than being like petrified and horrified and just so scared, he's okay. Well, there you guys have it. That's how I'm gonna end off this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.